Apologies, Gen Con, F Foot King Convention Time. Hi everyone, my name is Dave Luza and this is my top 10 expansions that will come out at Essen 2017. I am very excited, it's only two more weeks to go. I also made a top 10 of most anticipated games, base games. You will find it somewhere here on the channel, so go and check those out. Expansions are always another reason to revisit a game that you think you already figured out or that, is, okay, I know that, I know that, but now something new comes up sometimes it's just more and i love when games have more stuff so here we go first off more exit games i love playing exit games so i'm sure i'm gonna love these uh, exit the game has got uh, three new german titles and they have a book they started rating those exit games by uh, difficult and intermediate and and beginner level and uh, they're gonna have two games now that are beginner level which means i can probably uh, get my son uh, into it and i think it's going to be a great gift for birthdays and and stuff so um, they have one around the drei fragezeichen three question marks kid detectives are going to do stuff so that's probably going to grab uh, the kids uh, when they go uh, play those but I love to play them as well. So exit the game's got new expansions, but there will also be the Unlock series gonna have three mystery games as well. I did not like them as much as I like the exit the game games, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna get them. So that's Unlock. On number 10, on number 9, a game I thought would come out at Gen Con, but it didn't. It's Catacombs Wyverns of Willemur. That is the title. I cannot help you there. But the, the, the uh, flicking game that is going to get m more stuff, uh, they're going to be Wyverns that the heroes can ride on. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but I am very excited about Catacombs expansion. Magic Maze it surprised me at first I thought I would not like it I, I saw someone explaining it and said yeah 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 I can see that but is it fun then I played it and yes it's fun again I am a bit hesitant when it comes to those new uh, expansions because I didn't even work through the whole series uh, with with challenges that are in the base game so it might be a bit too much but Maximum security uh, gives you guards and and lots of loads of more stuff, and you can probably put modules in it and and just slowly get into those uh, expansions. But it's one that I'm interested about now. I, I will not say that I will not get it first. Let me see it. Interested? Magic Maze maximum security. On number seven, new maps for Concordia. I love playing Concordia and. It, it's a game that is not that difficult, but still a lot of things that go on in, in that, that happen in it. So I'm very excited to get new new maps that they've made a smaller map that you still should be able to play with a lot of players. I have to figure it out, but more more maps, more stuff. I love it for Concordia. On number six, Flamme Rouge Peloton, which makes it a five, six player game, have more riders uh, on it, uh, cobblestones, tracks. Oh, I'm, I love this game. It's so easy, it's so fast. It's such a nice racing game. And here in Europe, in, in, in Holland, we've got new riders that are gonna do great next year on the Tour de France. Cycling is gonna get in it. We just got knocked out of the World Championship preliminaries. So we've got a, We've got to focus on the other stuff, so uh, I'm very sure that cycling is going to be the new soccer for the Netherlands. Uh, so this expansion is going to bring it all and, and more. I'm very excited about Flamme Rouge Peloton. Then I have an expansion for Isle of Sky. It's called Journeyman and gives uh, new tiles. It's going to give uh, um, uh, separate player boards to every player. So you probably have some stuff that other people don't. You need to... The Journeyman is going to get a really important role when you put a new tile on the on the board then you have to move your journeyman to activate that tile it sounds interesting not sure yet how it's going to work out but hey more stuff is more stuff so that is my number five isle of sky on number four there's a game uh, nations the dice game the expansion is called unrest and 
I always thought, oh, Nations the Dice game is fun, but wouldn't it be nice if we just had more stuff? Because uh, in the base game, it was you would use all the tiles, and, and I thought it would be nice if you had some more randomness going on. Well, it looks like I'm going to get it with Nations the Dice game Unrest. On number three, more stuff for Imhotep, a game that I really like and it's also a very easy game. You, you, it's fast to get, but, but getting those points and, and making sure you come out on top, that is, it's fun. So looking forward to that, a new dynasty expansion for Imhotep. On number two, the Voyages of Marco Polo, there's an expansion, the Companions of Marco Polo adding in a fifth player, which they should have done before, because last night I had a game night where two of us, we brought Marco Polo with us, but we were five, we couldn't play it. So we ended up playing Terra Mystica, which was great as well. But um, ah, the Voyages of Marco Polo, more stuff, new stuff, fifth player, love it. And my number one, the Wind Gambit, an expansion for Scythe that I have been looking forward to for a while now. Can't wait to get it. I'm going to paint it and as soon as the paint is dry, I'm going to play it. Because at first, I have, I don't know why, I'm just like that. First I need to paint it, then I can play it. So that's my top 10. I hope there are games in here that you like. Let me know in the comments what you think and which games I should be getting. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out the podcast, the This Game is Broken podcast, which is just a fun board game panel show. It's just uh, half an hour. You'll find it uh, where you normally get your podcasts. Thanks for watching. Straight from Düsseldorf, very close to Essen. Essen is here. Thanks for watching. Bye. Gen Con. F1 game convention time. <laughs>